up? I'm Britt Burton and you're watching Beta Records TV and today we're here at Rockola Jukeboxes with CEO Glenn Streeter. Thank you so much for letting us come by and check everything out. It's a pleasure. Rockola is such an iconic name when it comes to jukeboxes. What inspired you to get involved with this company and carry on the legacy? Uh, it started as a hobby way back when restoring the original jukeboxes and then uh, I got an opportunity to buy Rockola and uh, fortunately just uh, kept an American icon going. Who do you tend to sell to? Do you send commercially or do you send to just private? Primarily it's for the home market. The consumer who buys it at home, what do you think they're getting? Are they buying just the, the ambiance of what it used to be? Well, I think there's a romance with the, with the bubbles and the colors yes. and the shape of these things. I call this the 57 Chevy of jukeboxes. And jukeboxes were used everywhere. They used to be in every diner, oh. in every bus stop. They were just everywhere. everywhere you would look. And now it's kind of changed with the whole technology and mp3s and cds so how did you guys kind of take the technology and move it forward you want me to show you sure why not okay. let's do it all right basically there's a reader right here mm -hmm. and you put your cds in here okay when you do it it automatically goes up on the internet pulls down the artwork wow. and the titles and instead of holding a hundred cds like a uh, cd mechanism this holds 2,800 CDs, so that's about 40,000 songs. Can you download from iTunes from this? You can download from iTunes. There's a USB port here. You can download from your computer. You can play your iPod through this. You can download wow. music into your iPod. Not only that, you can make up a whole list of songs mm -hmm. and burn a CD. And with the CDs, how does, how does that jukebox work? Well, it's a mechanism, mm -hmm. and everybody's in love with the, with the mechanism, flipping down the Happy Days CD right in front of you and spinning up. I know that I would love to go see how these are actually made. Love to give you a tour. All right, great. As you can see, we're at the Rockola factories and we're gonna get our very own private tour on how the jukebox is made, so follow me. So how long does it take to actually make one jukebox, would you say? Uh, from start to finish, a little under two weeks. That's our CNC machine over there. It cuts out all the intricate parts. It's a lot more practical and it's extremely precise. Wow. But it doesn't make mistakes. If it, if whatever the computer tells it to do, it does. So after we get the cutting and the sanding done, then where do we go? It goes out to the finishing area. And cool. they, they spray the inside black. And then they, they put some more stain on the outside on the walnut cabinet. And we refinish the door separately. And all the trim around the edges is all done very meticulously. After we burn in the electronics and the mechanisms upstairs, and the whole thing's put together, then the whole jukebox gets burned in again over here for 24 hours. And what does burned in mean? Well, we run the mechanisms in there to make sure everything's lined up right. On the digital boxes, it goes through all the digital processes in it. And if anything was to be out of whack just a little bit, we want it to be out of whack right here. Right. Not 2,000 miles from here, 10,000 miles from here. Yeah. Well, no, thanks for letting us come check out your whole factory. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Thanks for coming. All right, everyone, stay tuned. You're watching Beta Records TV.